It's Drista, aka Catch a Bracket. Uh, normally the Agents of String intro would play here, but uh, I think we could use a bit of a happier intro tonight, um, especially since tonight is Agents of Clean. But um, I'm not gonna lie, I uh, don't know what the acronym for Clean would be, so I'm going to employ a little bit of help in figuring that out. Hey Tyler. Yeah? I need help coming up with an acronym for Clean. Okay, uh, let's see, C, clean. Clean? No. All right, let's just go to L. L, uh, lean, lean. Uh, we'll, okay, we'll just circle back to that. Uh, how about E? Uh, you know what, I'll, I'll, just, I'll just ask you at another time, okay? It's fine. A is for Animal Crossing. Well, I guess we don't know what clean stands for. But if you, the viewers at home, know what CLEAN should stand for, make sure to drop it into that chat, put it into that comment section, smash that subscribe button, hit that bell, hit that like button! Hey, it's Trista. Whoops, that is replaying. Why is that replaying? Uh, hold on, hold on. Pause! Stop! Abort! <laughs> and, uh, where's my Discord? There's my Discord. Hello! Hello! Hello? There we go. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Awkward silence. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was the, uh, Agents of Clean intro. Hopefully that went off somewhat well, because I'm not used to doing these intros. I just have a, you know, welcome to Dolphin's Dive, where I do strategic things for whatever reason. Uh, but this is not Dolphin's Dive. This is not Handelabra Live. It's not even Agents of Stream. What is it? Agents of Clean. Whatever, clean. Agents of clean. whatever the frick it stands for. We'll find out tonight what it stands for. Um... But I'm Lou Dolphin, or sorry, not Lou Dolphin, I'm Agent Dolphin, sorry. <clears throat> sorry, something caught in my throat. Not COVID, but something. <laughs> words. <laughs> words, words, words. Words are hard. Yeah, the video was very quiet. It's okay. You'll be able to rewatch it over and over again once this is posted to the other places. Yeah, it's a little, like, the beep in the intro was significantly louder than Krista's voice. Um, sorry about that. Trying to get my iPad to light me a little less harshly. <laughs> oh, is it? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> We're now yellow lights. It looks better. <laughs> Agent who must not be washed out. <laughs> Put this down here, maybe. There we go. Work. Where are my well, I sunglasses? Should... I don't I have get... sunglasses nearby. I guess we should continue introducing ourselves. I'm Agent Mishap. I'm Agent Damage. I think that just leaves you, John. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the agent who must not be named. <laughs> oh, he's not. He's not naming himself. I got it. Uh -huh. Ah, you got it. There we well, go. Um, Seamus Butler, yes, I do have a green screen. I actually have for quite some time. I've only put it up because I'm teaching remotely these days, and I don't want my students to necessarily see what's in what's behind me, like messes of games and stuff like that. It's just distracting to them. So I can just put up something simple like my classroom, for example, on the green screen, and uh, it keeps them from getting distracted. It'll He's be gone. A, again. a little Pinocchio as well, like from that image on Twitter, if you saw that. Yeah. <laughs> Do we have a room yet, by the way? We don't. Should I make one? Go ahead. Okay. Super secret. No one will ever know what the room is called. It's super secret. There's no way they would know what it's called. Well, they, they won't if you join last and the room's full and they can't get in. <laughs> I mean, there's always that. So you can click the link if you don't have the game open or you can type in or you can paste it in. 
Oh, this is going to pull up some private information if I do this. YOLO. Not really private information, but... You can just, like, type it in in the fine game. Well, yeah, <laughs> but I didn't know what it was. <laughs> oh, right. I don't have... Um, I don't have my green screen software turned on right now. Because I, I don't have control. Dolphin has control of the... Ooh, can I give you a background? You, yeah, you can. <laughs> How? Oh, could, like, just by... Oh, wait. By Chroma King? <laughs> yeah. Where did... Oh, there you go. Right there. I'm having all sorts of funky issues capturing I don't the Discord think that video worked. today. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess I if I do it within OBS, um, that's too much effort, though. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> effort <laughs> like i can't use i can't make discord do do chroma stuff so um random there we go that's who i am today what are we playing so it looks like we're it's just there. waiting it's for the back. What, what i didn't get the hold on it's in, in the, the discord, discord. It, oh which chord so discord it is. So it is. Not that. We have a plan for what we're playing. <laughs> Sounds good fun. to me. <laughs> I like Matriarch. I'm I'm really excited oh, to unleash an Oblivion. We're doing Matriarch. I just hit random, so that's oh okay, cool. Set in stone. Well, I'm gonna bring oh, in this Matriarch. guy. First one I grabbed. All right. Here we go. Oh, I should probably put some music on. I'm like, why is it so quiet? It's because I have the music <laughs> muted on my game. <laughs> Hear my song of pain and sorrow. All must know the might of Corvus. I'm sorry, I think you meant to say COVID-19. COVID-19. <laughs> All the smell of the light of COVID-19. <laughs> we fight this day for liberty and justice. And clean. And cleanliness. All right, for so next to and legacyness. So I'm a bit of the driver today, so I'll read out the hands that everyone has. Legacy has flying smash, motivational charge, superhuman durability, and legacy ring. Dark Watch Night Mist has Amulet of the Elder Gods, Call Fourth, but not Fifth, Heedless Lash, and Scouring Mists. Expatriate has Assault Rifle, two Flax, and a Liquid Nitrogen Rounds. And Ra has an Imbued Fire, Inferno, and two Scorched Earths. Here we go. It's the game. Scorch those Earths. Oh, good. I was hoping we'd start with that one. Oh, lovely. Misinformation COVID-19 is not transmissible through birds. Agents are misinformed. No, we're not playing misinformation. We're playing matriarch. Yeah, duh. <laughs> Wouldn't matriarch be more bird flu? Hmm. It just that wouldn't be quite as timely, unfortunately. Mm. All right. I am going to do this. I'm going to hit this. And I'm gonna hit maybe this. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna hit this. Oh no, not hugging. Hugging. <laughs> hugging and mugging. Hugging and mugging? That sounds like a spite thing. <laughs> hugging and mugging, that's what they're called. I know. The two birds. So I'm going to make John mad if I play Heedless Lash right now, because I have no nothing yes. about my deck. <laughs> wow. Do what you like. Um, you never know. Could do be we good. have the means of getting rid of the mask and or huge in? We have assault rifle. We have an inferno. Yeah, if you scouring mist, then we can for sure. Yep. All right, we'll do that. Oh yeah, we have galvanized. We might too. get lucky and be able to also take out huge in. So what was it I just revealed? It was a three. Yeah, because I just dealt three, myself yeah. four. You so. dealt yourself four, so it was a three. All right, who cares about the carrion fields? They don't do anything right now. 
So I real quick, as long as we're doing this, you guys are doing your damage stuff. I will mention that bottom of the ninth is still free on all the places. Um, if you didn't know, we made bottom of the ninth free until further notice um, to help people have ways to pass the time while they're stuck at home. Um, and I'm proud, I guess proud, pleased, happy to report that something like seven, more than 7,000 copies have been given away um, over the last week. Um, Krista yeah. has been giving out Steam keys left and right. It's been fantastic. Um, and there's lots of people playing. The sale on the rest of our stuff did end today and last night on some of the... Um, so you can't get the other things at a discount yet, but bottom of the ninth is going to be free uh, until further notice on... I until at least Wednesday on... Google. And if you want a free Steam key, one for you and one for a friend, go to handlelobber.com slash contact and Krista will send you... Um, a couple of Steam keys. Sounds good. Yeah, that's awesome. By the way, seven thousand copies. That's that's amazing. I know that's. A it's little... not over nine thousand though. It's not oh, over nine thousand, but it might be, it might be we'll more get there. than have sold up to this point. <laughs> 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 that game does not sell well. In case anyone was curious, it's a great little game, but it just doesn't sell well. I don't <clears> think we marketed it effectively when we first launched. Um. But there's a lot of people playing it now. That's for darn sure. Uh, is anybody imbued or opposed to imbued fire? Because scorched earth doesn't do a whole lot right now, uh, yeah, and inferno do, is not maximized. So, I think you guys are good with that. Imbued fire is beautiful. We All have right, so many plus ones fire. right now. Yeah, I'm actually going to take this opportunity to deal four to her dome. Dome it. Dome them out. And they said matriarch is hard. <laughs> uh, well, well, I mean, that, that didn't help. <laughs> didn't help, but it didn't like hurt. All right, I cry oh, foul. God. I cry Here foul. <laughs> oh boy, they're all showing up to play. That's how it works. Remember when I said this game's not hard? <laughs> uh, RPD has a suggestion for what "clean" stands for. He says contamination, lethargy, and enervation aversion network. Not bad. Nice. It's better than my, the one I came up with. <laughs> we had a, 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 sh a small discussion about N-words prior to the stream. <laughs> that That's so wrong. Um... <laughs> <laughs> no, I was like, I don't even want to know where this is going. Well, oh, so RPD and I was. have been very fascinated by this film called The FP, uh, where they turn the N-word into an acronym. Uh, okay. Or never ignorant in getting goals accomplished. And RPD oh. was asking if he could nest acronyms. I'm like, no, don't do not do that. That's bad. I think I'm going to get this... And do we need heals, or should I just put boost again? We lost the fire, and I don't think we've taken enough damage to, like, warrant healing at the moment. All right, I'll just boost us. Yeah, I think that's probably yeah, fine. Yeah, you can start using that next turn. <laughs> Seamus Butler says, COVID-19 leaves everyone averse to nearness. <laughs> My version. Oh, yeah, there you go. That's good. Pretty good. My version of the acronym the was the completely logical expulsion of all Nimrods. <laughs> That's awesome too. <laughs> hmm. So I know what's what on about top. Recursive acronyms, and the question is, I just make sure that everybody understands that in order to understand recursion, you must first understand recursion. recursion. Yeah, screw it. Seems good. And you hit. A four it's fine. It. Everything's fine. It's all good. We're all fine here. Citizens Latavorial Emergency Action Network. Oh, that's good too, Take Walker. Oh boy. So, uh, Lou Dolphin, are you also teaching from home? Or are you all in spring break, right? Oh, uh, yeah, we started our remote teaching this week. Um, 
it's worked out fairly well, I think. Uh, my stream experience certainly helps with that transition. But it does feel imagine. does feel a little weird now because I'm saying teaching stuff but not seeing any reactions. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's all one way. Yeah, I mean, well, like, they're in a call, they could say things, but most people are muted because they don't have a mic because they weren't built for online classes when they signed up right. for in-person classes. So... Yeah, my my students are in the same boat. Like, some of them think they have reasonable microphones, but all I hear is either nothing, and then they start yelling at things, like their dog, for example. Mm -hmm. And it's like, oh my god, mute your mic. Or it's oh like, yeah, we tried to do Black like Live a whole family... <laughs> we tried to do a whole family chat, and for those who don't know out in chat land, um, my wife is the oldest of, um, and all but two of them are in long-term committed relationships, and some of them have kids. So it was, mm -hmm. I think, at least ten, including her dad as well. So there were like at least seven or eight things with at least two or three people on each of the calls, and everybody was trying to talk at the same time. And it was like, this is a lot like what it's like to have everyone in the same room, only you can't actually hear what anybody is saying because <laughs> everyone was <laughs> talking at once. It was very interesting to say the least uh, all right uh do we want to kill the birds now or later why bother they'll just come back anyway so sure. i think we should, we should it should be like our favorite candy now and later <laughs> that's a that's a deep cut because if i i can nitrogen round the fields and matriarch and reach the reaction if you want to kill the zach but if you don't then um, yeah, I mean, liquid nitrogen makes sense because with galvanize, scorched earth will yeah. do the one damage. So that sounds good. Because the carrion fields do one damage each. Matriarch does two. Yep. So that was my thought. But basically, if we're not going to kill the birds, I don't want to waste it now. Well, I mean, we might as well because it's it's again like there's no env environment cards in play, so scorched earth does nothing. Excavation is fine. It but does like, one damage. Oh, sure. Yeah. Is it... Oh no! I'm sorry. I read, yep, I read that wrong because the because of the galvanizer would hit everything. So yeah, we could just do that. That's fine. Okay. You could also just use Inferno instead if you want. I could, but I feel like that might be better suited later on. If we, if we have the yeah, Inferno, Infer no, Infer no. <laughs> Like, we do have a lot of damage going around. We might just be able to blaze through Matriarch before this fight gets worse. That's what I'm hoping. So RPD <clears throat> asks, how, can you, how is it free? So if you're looking in Steam, it is not free in Steam. You need to contact us, and we will send you some free Steam. If you go on either the iOS App Store or Google, uh, it should still be free. I hope that answers the question. I'm double checking now on iOS to just be double sure that it is. I mean, I think on Raw's turn, we're going to want to do the hold the button down thing. Oh, I already own it, so I can't actually see if it's free on the App Store, but uh... it should be. Are we holding are we holding it down? I voted for this turn. Okay. Well, I did it. I thought I did. Yeah, we there have we to vote though. So and uh, now it's Legacy's decision here. Yep. So uh, how how does the um, repeat the decision one feature work with voting? Yeah. Does it do the majority voting as well? Yeah, it just records your vote. It repeats your vote. It doesn't change how voting works. Okay. Uh, just to go to here. You know what? Here, handle or die. I'll I'll put I'll post the link so you know where. You... Oh, I see. So it's it's just okay. So I'm voting choose for me this turn. Is yeah. What's going on?
Boom. All right, there's a link for you. Go ahead to there and you'll see the contact form. Uh, and actually the first thing that's, sele that's selected is I would like two free Steam keys for bottom of the ninth. And uh, give it a day or two, a couple of days. Krista is has actually answered more than a thousand um, when it comes to people requesting these since they since this became free last Thursday. So can you click um, a button, Jeremy? Oh yes, I can. Sorry. Well, I think he went AFK, and now we're voting for him. <laughs> Yay! Good. Yeah. So I'm all AFK. we need is the SpongeBob four hours later thing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, did I already vote there? Well. Oh, right. That one's changing because. Because um, the, top, the highest is the changing. The highest now. is changing. So my laptop is actually named the Matrix. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you knew that. Your laptop is named what? The Matriarch. Oh, is it? I always I always name all my computers after a band that a song from a band that I'm really into at the moment. So my my iMac, which is currently uh, is called Atlas, uh, because of Atlas from Coheed and Cambria, because yep. that's when I got this computer and named it. The Matriarch is named after the song by the called the Matriarch by the band Unleash the Ark, who was actually supposed to be in Cleveland on St. Patrick's Day, and uh... I was bummed because I couldn't go because I was supposed to be in California for GDC, then GDC got canceled. And I was like, oh great, it's canceled because everyone doesn't want to get sick. So I guess I can go to that concert. Oh wait, yeah. that's <laughs> not gonna happen either. <laughs> so. Yeah. And Silly now I'm starting COVID. to wonder if if we'll see Coheed in September. I know, and they're, apparently they're still planning to do the cruise at this point, they haven't canceled it, so. All right, well. Good on them. Let's stay no positive one then. No one is ever. <laughs> yeah, a lot of the conversation now is about all these various industries that supposedly want to get bailed out. What should I hit? Should I hit the carrying fields, the matriarch herself? What? Go for matriarch, I'd say. Yep, matriarch primarily. Dome her out. With one foul, it's not bad. Plus it's yeah, the building it's of rooks that, yeah, the building of rooks is the least bad one. Yeah. Shouldn't the cruise ships get a bailout from other countries that they put their flag under? Well, that would yes. make sense. <laughs> or not at all, I guess. Yeah, exactly. That doesn't right. seem like an essential industry that needs to be given a handout. I guess I just wonder why they didn't save for a rainy day. Maybe stop eating so much avocado toast. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's weird that we're the 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 poor are told that they should have been planning for this all along, but the billion dollar industries have they need the bailout. <laughs> well, and I tell you this too. Like you know, I was listening to one of my podcasts that I listen to, and you know, one of their points was like. There's actually nothing wrong with giving money to corporations as long as you do it smartly because all a corporation is is a bunch of people. So if you give them money in order for them to keep paying the people who otherwise would get laid, that's good because that will keep people yep. alive. But if you give them a bunch of money and then they spend all that money buying back their stock and giving their executives bonuses, that's not okay. That's what's not okay. Yeah, that's no yeah. bueno. Welcome to Leftists Live. <laughs> well, and also you can. The one of the problems is you can try to set rules around how these things happen, and then the co bigger corporations have literally armies of people to try to figure out how to get around rules like that. Right. Yes, and that is, and that's bad. Welcome to capitalism. <laughs> Welcome to capitalism. Don't let the door hit you on the way out because it's almost over. Capitalism leaves everyone. Apocalyptically needy. <laughs> Agents of clean, everyone. <laughs> Speaking of capitalism, I actually do have a financial planner who helps me with things like that. And I actually sent them an email last week because literally the day after, maybe not the day after, but somewhere in the last three and a half years, I said to them, like, I think something 
crappy might be happening. Should I just buy gold bars and like put them in the basement? And they were like, oh, no, no, no. It's all going to be fine, whatever. And so just last week, I sent them a thing that was like, so you laughed at me when I said I should just buy <laughs> gold bars and put them in the basement. Well, who's laughing now? Nobody. That's who's laughing now. <laughs> Enjoy the taste of your gold bars. So it doesn't really do anything either. <laughs> well, yes, but it's like, you know, in when society decides to rise again, at least it's the kind of thing that like is a tangible resource. It's not just linen with some green ink on it. You know what I mean? Sure. Yeah. Assuming people care about gold at all. I mean, if the entire history of humanity tells us anything, it's that people care about gold. Just saying. Might be because we use it for computer circuits versus crowns now, but it is a thing that people use and is tangible. Right. Rather than a fiat currency, which is just a way to, you know, alienate labor from those who produced it. Oh, shoot, we're going that way again. <laughs> <laughs> going to play inspiring presence. Welcome to Agents of Clean, where we just... Uh... Where we wax political for <laughs> yeah. two hours. Yeah, you could use your dollars for toilet paper. Oh, that's a fantastic <laughs> point. Yeah, I should have just taken it all out in ones and just put that in my Especially basement. the ones, they're really ah. soft. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so how do we feel about these birds as also twisting back alleys? Oof. I mean... I don't like twisting back alleys. But at least Inspiring Presence undoes a little bit, which mm. is fine. Do we want to, I mean, me to Oblivion right now and wipe the board? I have a reload, so I can uh, clear it. I can do the minus one again, so let's wait for that. Okay, and okay. then we have the Inferno. Okay, so I'm going to put out the amulet so that when I do Oblivion, then I can redirect my damage. That seems solid. And we got a four. Good. This game nice. has completely ruined the word Oblivion for me. Whenever I hear it, I'm like, that's not how you say it. Yeah, whenever I... Like, did you mean Oblivion? I know, right? If I had My... a nickel for every time I heard Oblivion called Oblivion, uh, I would have a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> and we're Blame gonna Christopher. Ooh, also Planar Banishment. Ooh. Mm. Banishment's good. Yeah, I... Would have to rewind if I want that though. <laughs> I was thinking, ooh, Oblivion, I could do a four and a three, but actually, nah. So, we are, who get her among down. the agents here is uh, has become an Animal Crossing person? Because that's pretty much what all of my <laughs> social media feeds are: is everybody playing Animal Crossing. Not me. I so... played it on iOS a bunch when it came out there, but I'm playing Fire Emblem on my Switch. Mega Man Zero recently dropped for Switch. Nice. And that is what I have been playing. And I am falling in love with that game all over again. I mean, I still have the cartridges, too. <laughs> nice. But, like, I don't know. The, having it on Switch has just been fantastic. And my wife, so I picked this up at PAX. This is Mega Man Battle Network 3. Um, and I'm dropping not so subtle hints to my wife that I want Battle Network One, Two, and Four for my birthday because those games are. Uh, old. Take feels left out because you got no interest in Animal Crossing. High five! Yeah, I'm exactly the same way. There is exactly one person playing Animal Crossing in our house, and it's my nine-year-old, and she absolutely loves it. She begged me all weekend. She keeps seeing commercials for it on like Disney Plus or whatever the heck she's been watching, and finally I was just like, "Fine, you want to play it? Fine." So I got Can it. I talk to Zach about the game we're playing. What's up? Say again? <laughs> Can I talk to Zach about the game we're playing for a minute? Yes, do it. By all uh, means. <laughs> I need to make sure we kill the mask. Yeah. Um, so we have plus two, minus one. So basically, I want to make sure that you can do stuff to kill the mask with whatever damage I do. So because uh, I can either do submachine gun or assault rifle here. I can hit it for five with Inferno, if my math is right. I got plus three minus one, so yeah. So I got five from Inferno plus uh, a bunch from Pyre also. I should be able right, to so crush it. Pyre's gonna do three, so I just need to do one to it then. Yep. Right. So then I can do submachine gun instead of assault rifle here. Yep. Okay.
you may resume talking about Animal Crossing, Jeremy. <laughs> John's like, know, permission to go on topic, sir. <laughs> Um, I, I will say just in terms of other games that we're playing, um, my son fell in love with uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2, but I won't let him play online because I don't want him getting into, you know, murder simulators with his, you know, with randoms out in the world because um, he's only, you know, 12. But um, since he's enjoying first person shooters, I went ahead and got uh, the Halo Master Chief collection. And we, he has officially finished playing his first Halo game all the way through. We finished Halo Reach just at like two hours. And I was super excited, not only because Halo games are awesome, but they're 10 times awesomer when you're playing them cooperative. And um, it was super fun to watch him play. Yeah, we totally couch co-opted Andromeda. That's, that was exactly the way to do it. And it was super awesome. He's loved it. Um, I got to explain to him like, no, 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 this first game is like, it's kind of like the Rogue One of the Halo universe because it really is like, like Halo Reach is the story of the fall of Reach, which is what kicks off the entire story of Halo. And um, it was really fun to play that through with him again. And I haven't played Halo in literally like, I don't know, probably a decade almost. Eh, maybe not quite, but close. Yeah. I didn't play five. I barely played four. I mean, I've been playing a lot of Destiny um, with, actually, Adam's brother. In fact, if I weren't here right now, that's probably what I'd be doing. Um, I don't love it. It's just a way to stay in contact. But yeah, it definitely, totally. like, it's it's very Halo-esque, and I, I quite love that. Yeah, after I sort of played Halo to death, I kind of was over twitchy first-person shootery stuff, and that was when I got more into some slow pace. Um you know, like, uh, it may, maybe not so much slow pace, but, like, I still played Binding of Isaac a ton. I finally went ahead and pulled the trigger and bought Slay the Spire for my Switch, so I've been sort of swapping back and forth doing the daily runs of Binding of Isaac and Slay the Spire. Uh, the Switch version just got the fourth character for Slay the Spire, so I've just been learning that character, which is very exciting. Thanks for the sub, Leo. Woo! 34 months. months. I think Leo might be our longest-lived subscriber. I think so. That's 34. level up, Leo, right? Old man Leo. No, that's Leo 981. Different person. Oh, oh different person. Okay. Getting through the birds. Think... This is for the birds. Oh, yeah. I can also share this myself. Hey, Lou Dolphin hey. with the 14 month race up. It said, but I like to show my one month streak. <laughs> <laughs> wah, 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 wah. <laughs> Turn down for what? But no, my, my biggest like gripe or whatever about uh, Animal Crossing is it's like if I want to run errands for ingrateful small things i just go to work <laughs> yeah Which I, I currently <clears throat> can't do and don't want well i can and i don't want to i don't like yeah, the games of that consist of many interesting to me either i just like it does, doesn't seem like the kind of game that I would be into, which I don't know. I mean, I may try it at some point. I ended up buying it digitally just on her accounts. If anybody else wanted to play it, I'd have to buy it again. And that was why I took a survey of around the house. Does anyone have any interest in this? In which case, we'll get it on a cart. If not, we're going to do it digitally just for her. So that's Yeah, I mean, it's it. a game where there's no consequences and you do what you want. It's a sort of sandbox thing. And it's, yeah. that's that's the appeal. Yep. Yeah, and that's fine. I do not begrudge anybody playing it. It's fine. Um, you know, I, I played Pocket oh, yeah, Camp and, forever. But... And I absolutely love how how great it is for all the people who are posting about it and loving it. It's like terrific. Love it. All you want. It's just not yeah. for me. It, honestly, it's very similar to like, and and not in terms of the type of game, but in terms of my level of interest to like uh, Grand Theft Auto. Like I tried yeah. playing one of the hey, Grand Theft Auto answer. games and I was like, this is so not for me in any way. I love Grand Theft Auto. So fun. I have never I mean. played Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, after three, and I don't remember if it was four or five was the one that I got. And I was like, I'll try it. And I played it for like 
I, re- I gave it the go- a good college try. I played it for like a week. And at the end of that week, I was like, yeah. And now I know. I never have to play this game mm-hmm. ever again. <laughs> Uh-oh, my Sentinels is spinning. Oh, wait. What's wrong with my computer? Uh-oh. Womp womp. I should probably quit out of some of these things. Oh yeah, we're not using Skype, so I can quit out. Oh my goodness. This is the worst time for Dark in the Sky. <laughs> oh, for the love of Pete. After we just killed all of them. <laughs> Thank you, Rook City. Thank you, Random. Time to break out the whiskey. John, your randomizer's broken. Yeah. I have Glenn oh. Morangy. Nectar Door. Nice. Very good. So, so Zach, you don't know that John specifically programmed our random number generator to do the worst possible thing at the worst possible moment? <laughs> yeah, we got a review of that saying, it's impossible. The villain always plays the worst card that could possibly choose every time. Every yes. single time. Like, yes. that would be a lot of work to do that. That would be... I'm impressed that you think that we would do that. But... No, don't hit me. I was hoping to redirect the two. No. It's not worth doing. Am I going to survive? One, two, two. He'll survive. Yeah, I'm fine. You're fine. Everything is fine. We're all fine here. I was just hoping to redirect the kettle of vultures so I could take out another fowl. Just wash your hands and maintain six feet distance. You'll be fine. Do we have heroic interception yet? <laughs> I just want to spread my votes out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. All right, it's well, a bird. Did... Oh it's my god. Bird. There's so many. Oh, it's of also them. the mask. Oh my oh. god, there it is again. There's nothing to put in. Well, I am mad. Day. Hey, leave. Going. Yeah, it does that thing where when it times out. I don't know. That was Weird. odd. I'm back. Wow, well, her broken is up really good right now. Uh, yeah. It'd be cool if I had that. Because if we kill the birds, it's gonna be out. But I guess if we, we should. Do it because we do have nation rounds on one of the carrying fields, but only one of them. There's a new carrying field, so I don't even know if that's a good idea. Right. True. Uh, we, Fortitude would actually save Legacy from being hit by the matriarch. That would be a good idea versus playing a Legacy ring. Yeah. All right. That's fine. <laughs> Jeremy's doing wild card things again. Uh, wild card. What I do. <laughs> Because then you can just soak all at least matrix damage. Yep. Yeah, if the carrion fields are going to kill. Hmm. So I shouldn't. What you're saying is I shouldn't oblivion right now. The thing, I guess the problem is if you don't, then I won't have nitrogen, nitrogen rounds on anything. Right. So the chat says that the chat in the stream might not be working, Lude. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I don't to... know if it's not reloading or. Yeah, I have to refresh. That happens when I disconnect. It's like I, I get an, an internet like hiccup for a second and it makes everything like freak out. Oh yeah. man, so that is literally exactly what's happening with my iMac right now. Like my Drobo will only stay connected for like four hours at a time and then it hiccups. And because I'm trying to restore from the Drobo and it's going to take 60 hours to do that, every four Actually, hours it disconnects and then the restore six, fails. So I'm trying to find other eight. ways to get all the information from my time machine back up back onto my iMac. I can it's kill worth doing oblivion and dying loot. I would say. I can kill ten of the fouls. <laughs> um I mean that's a few. Because this will make me regain four. And then I can do right. I'll just do four to all. Because you're not gonna take the damage. Oh and... right, because you'll stop. Yeah. And then I can redirect mine. 
So Take Walker's asking me this, so I'm going to show it real quick. This is a Drobo. Ah! It's called, it stands for Data Robot, and it's it's basically like a sort of proprietary RAID array type of a thing, where it's like multiple drives. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's probably pretty dark. Um, it's got like multiple hard drives in it with redundancy and things, so that like, this is what I use for my backup. Um, for my computer, but as a result of whatever's going on, it has like just broken enough <laughs> that I can't actually use it for its only purpose, which is a real bummer. Can you access it from your laptop? Oh, I can. And so now what I'm doing is I'm trying to sort of reconstruct the, the time machine backup sort of piece by piece and just grab the pieces that I need. But obviously it's gonna be a much longer process than just Put everything back where it was in one with one thing and then just leave it alone. So like all the files are still there. I haven't lost anything. It's just not all in a place where I can use it effectively yet. So that's what So I've been we want on this to be raw because raw will not be double oh, right. damaged by this and legacy will reduce it by one. Right. We have to change our decision every time. <laughs> oh, what is that? I, oh, okay. So I can't just I, do this game for me. <laughs> it might be able to do this this turn. I can't remember. Oh, but like, if it's based per card, then... it's based on the card. Yeah. So. We only have to do it ten times. I can do As it nine to 10, times. I can do it. Nine <laughs> times. Yeah, I was already voting for Legacy here. Okay. Yeah, my vote already went there. And here. Which is the vote by yeah. suggestion. I'm auto suggesting, oh, yeah. hands free. Yeah, I will yeah. also auto suggest, and then choose for me on this. Oh, okay. Hold tab. Well, except I'm still. So, how many are left? Oh There's yeah, you can't three, choose for me on this. Six. This nine. is the bad choose for me. Yep. No. Nope. So that off. I can leave the two building of rooks. Those were the least bad. Sure. Um. Kettle of Vultures, bye. I don't like things that make the lowest lowester. <laughs> a lowester always pays their debt. That, that's how I always phrase it. It's like, if you hit the hero with the <laughs> highest, that bounces around. If you hit the hero with the lowest, well they're worse. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Until they die, then they're not the lowest anymore. And then the ones that hit all each hero target, so Jackdaw should go. Like, there could be an argument to be made that if only one hero would survive, you should keep the ones that say, hit everything except the hero with the, because then that doesn't go off. But we're not gonna have that, so. Welcome to the advanced strategy that Lou Dolphin employs on his streams. And welcome to me going AFK, so I don't have to worry about whatever it is that you guys are doing. <laughs> if, if only there was a way for you to select this turn on <laughs> Matriarch Deal's legacy damage. This works, too. Probably would go the fastest if we all go AFK and let you... Yep. <laughs> oh, Can yeah, do. sure. The hero that's dying is the one that's controlling everything. Fine. <laughs> yeah. It's your job. All right, there's Micro P A F K. <laughs> Just click into the chat, and you can go A F K, Zach. Ah. There it is. All right, it's my game. Now, Louis is driving. So now I'm going to hit Legacy. <sighs> Um, nor am I, or am I at, I'm at four. Um, do you guys have a preference between murder of crows and unkindness of ravens as to who should survive? Uh, just I don't. follow your, follow your heart. Yep. <laughs> Dealer's choice. Go with my heart. Listen to your heart. <laughs> Murder of Crows uh, are worse, right? Because they avoid the highest. 
Oh, Migrant P is not AFK anymore. <laughs> well, I was a card because he wanted me to decide things. <laughs> but yeah, that's um, your punishment. That that was my impression too, but it ultimately I don't think it's going to matter too much. Listen to your heart. Loot's you game. I'll be wary. <laughs> Don't worry, loot will be dead soon. <laughs> Is that a threat? <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Sounds like a challenge. <laughs> and then that one. And then they died. Ugh. So how many of you have been in pajamas for more than a couple of days? Be honest. I actually don't have pajamas. I don't have pajamas. I'm wearing my Marvel pajamas Oh, right I could vote for what card Expatriate should play. Oh, look at that. I'm now playing the entire game. <laughs> <laughs> Night Mist dies, and all of a sudden... <laughs> Everyone goes You don't to know, crap. but I'm hovering over the kick blue dolphin button. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I assumed you wanted to play RPG Launcher, though, but... Yeah, that is the card I would play. Yeah, so I actually have pajamas, but I rarely wear them. So my pajamas are, like, workout shorts and some sort of a t-shirt, and I basically switch between two different versions of workout shorts and some sort of t-shirt during the day, and I switch into different ones for the night. Zach, do you I want me to... The other day. Zach, you want me to hit the mask here, or do you got it? Um... I think we'll probably just leave those foul because we don't have any damage reduction anymore. Yeah, I mean, I can... If you, if you How much can you level with the mask right now? Uh, three. Three puts it to one. Um, then, hmm. I can get two powers here. I can chuck the staff at something. Yeah, then just like wail on the matriarch. That's what I'm thinking. Sure. Yeah, uh, Jeremy, I dress as normal when I work from home. It helps. Yeah, I, I kind of go back and forth. Like, Actually, I'm just going to kill the mask, sorry. Yep, <laughs> I, I, I agree. <laughs> As it happens. Now that I've actually set up an actual home office, like back when I typically would go to the office and I would work from home once a week, maybe, um, working on a couch is no big deal. But like once I realized this was going to have to be like, oh man, if I'm going to be doing this in a sustained manner, I need to set up an actual legitimate home office. And so now that I have a place to go that is like, now I'm in work mode, what I'm wearing is less than, as long as I'm in the yeah. right mind. Like I'm like I trying to leave the house every day, even we're in self-isolation, but I still can go for a walk. Not interact. Yeah, I did that over the weekend. So. I don't think I've left the house since Sunday. Yeah, I don't think so. See, the secret to self-isolation is... To already have been it your entire life. What up? <laughs> I know. That's my secret cap. I'm always self-isolated. <laughs> no, like, I mean, I, I'm just using my streaming desk as my work desk. And I'm, I'm doing the, you know, waist, like the, the news anchor thing where you dress for the job <laughs> from the waist up and then pajamas from the waist down. Nice. Yeah, that's the way to do it. That's what I would do, except I'm still cold. My students suggest, well, so my computers basically act as space heaters. Um, so I'm never cold in my office, but as soon as I leave, I start shivering. So just yeah, out of see, that, Yeah, that's the other part of it is that my basement, which is where my office slash home theater is, um, is, and I've said this, I think, on the stream before, but like, because of the way that this room is designed, when the heat is on, it's like a thousand degrees in here. When the air conditioning is on, it's like negative 700. So... I even if it's the middle of winter, I need to be in shorts down here because it's like if the rest of the house is going to be warm, this room is going to be 10 to 15 degrees warmer than the rest of the house. So, yeah.
That's a dangerous room. Yeah, that it's my office and my home theater. It actually works out. It's been working out pretty much fine. Like you can see behind me, that's my my movie theater screen. That's why I have it set up like that so you can see. Oh, why is it not playing? Um, Jeremy with uh, the humble brag. Um, there's nothing humble about it, man. I worked hard to put this theater together, and I love it. <laughs> uh, dude, you know I have one too. So like. Yeah, no, but it's it's I I you know, it's like hey. I'm going to spend probably 60% of my waking hours staring at a screen. It's going to be a nice screen, and I'm going to be comfortable while I do it. <laughs> exactly. All right. Villain I, I targets just... have minus three. Okay. So we're just playing. Yeah, that was the worst time for Munin. That's for sure. All right. So I what... think we can. Can we still punch through it? Because we have plus two, so we're basically going to be at minus one. Minus one? Yeah. We can easily punch through that for four. Oh, I have a shotgun, so I can just do it on my turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's not even going to get to me. Um, yep, there you go. If only Legacy had the Legacy ring. Mm. Oh. Uh, there you go. There's not really a decision here that makes sense. Uh, nope, you're right. There's not. I made a mistake. No, I mean the other ones don't really make sense either. But that's true. Excavation. I mean, makes we, sense. we could do. Ra, play excavation. <laughs> you might right. get a fire blast. Yeah. What is this card? I have literally never seen this card before. <laughs> <laughs> this card is fake. It does not exist. Oh, there you go. Wrathful Gaze. Perfect. Mm -hmm. I don't remember what card it was, but I remember someone saying, Oh, I love that card. It's the perfect card to discard. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I think it was that nice. one. It was either that one or um, one of Tachyon's. Yeah, like the... the I'll see as many cards that are perfect to discard. Sucker Punch right. is like the perfect discard fodder, except for when it works. Yeah. The worst time is when you top deck Sucker Punch and take out a hero or yourself. <laughs> I'm going to glare at her. I'm going to experiment. Oh, two Sucker Punches. Oh, oh, wait. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, that was an easy match. We only lost me. <laughs> For the greater good. Sacrifice well worth it. Indeed. So is this Asian style where we now have to pick the variants of the hero that we've chosen? Is that I what we do? believe that's I'm happy to do that. normally the, uh, the way of things. All right, so let's see what variants uh, Nightmist has. Base. <laughs> this seems appropriate. We are being judged by <laughs> a little something, blue guy. something that is out of our control and extremely frustrating. <laughs> and you might lose before you even get a chance to do anything. <laughs> Yeah. Clean stands for any number of things, Sparky Wolf. Yeah, what no, do you well, no, think? No, clean that was not the button for. I wanted to press. I thought that was the ready button. You pressed the wrong button. It starts with an A and is in the lower right corner. What do you expect? <laughs> or starts with an R. Did I say A? Ugh. Yeah, you said A. That's why I did the. <laughs> A R. <laughs> it's time to play some games. Can you win before you all die? It's so fun. I may go out in a blaze of glory, but your evil shall be consumed by purifying fire. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's because that's definitely how they sound. <laughs> so setting okay, sun raw was totally fine. I don't know any. Yeah, I, I, I just yeah. Uh, excavation, just flame spike, living conflagration, solar flare, freedom five legacy has heroic interception, inspiring presence, takedown and thock. Dark Watch Expatriate has Assault Rifle, Hair Trigger Reflexes, Incendiary Rounds, Speed Loading, and Night Mist has Call Forth, Elder Ring, Mistbound, and Oblivion. I'm going to kill those Wagelings so hard. Not if I get there first. Hmm. 
Hmm. All right, so we've got the Green New Deal. <laughs> <laughs> An unwise wager, meaning... That's the casino's being closed. There it is. Yeah, an unwise <laughs> wager would be listening to the President of the United States right now. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Losing to the odds is what's going to happen if we don't social distance. And not all he seems is like uh, Fauci. Like, he seems like a really good guy, but he's actually one of the best people to possibly have right now. And there you have it. And I don't know what to do about wage links. <laughs> Oh, hey, the wagelings are actually lunch. the nice. good guys. The wagelings are running the grocery stores and keeping us all alive. Yes! Yep, thank that's you. it. That's good. Actually, wagelings, like, right? Wagelings, like... Oh, yeah, yeah, because they... <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a yeah. little rude, but... We'll wagelings is literally all of us. <laughs> yeah. All of the 99%. I don't like looking at this thing. All right, so we should we look at these cards and just see what the situation in terms of winning or losing. I mean, Probably. we have the new deal and losing to the odds. Uh, if we can get a plus one, which Inspiring Presence does, then we should win. So Jeremy, play sure, Inspiring right. Presence and don't hit the wagelings. Don't hit the wagelings? Because we need, we don't need, we don't want the the conditions to shuffle. With New Deal, if we're so, all right. So with New Deal, each hero target with an even amount of HP deals itself three psychic damage. Ordinarily makes evens into odds, and then losing to right. the odds. Uh, if everyone has an even amount That's of right. HP, then right. we win. But ordinarily, New Deal would prevent that from happening with how this has been played. But if we have a plus one, then when each here with an even amount of HP would deal itself four damage, stays even, and then we lose Theoretically to the win. odds. Yeah, and if we flip the wagelings, he flips over at the start of the turn instead of all that happening. Right. Actually, takedown so, would be really good as well, but I don't. I think we can't. Oh yeah, and also not all he seems. Oh, never oh, wager master bound. would be dealt damage. Yeah. We have misbound, so inspiring presence and misbound, and we win unless the environment oh, gets. Yep, that'll do it. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's this. Oh. That happened. We, we forgot about that. Yeah. What about oh, the healing? True. <laughs> I thought that was the whole thing. <laughs> Dang it! Uh, everyone, you know, hit yeah, yourselves. Like, oh, I'm not even going to bring it up, because all of these people are so much smarter than me at this game. I certainly couldn't possibly Well, all right, so... <laughs> so am I going back? No, 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 we're fine. No, no, Assault no. rifle and base yep. power night mist will... Fix, fix everything. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's just assault rifle ourselves. <laughs> All right. Who wants to play a card? Uh, uh, let me play assault rifle again. Yep. 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 <laughs> I don't know if I need to, but sure. I mean, because then you have it early. I, mean, I don't know if I need to have it versus playing it on my turn, basically. Right. Uh, yeah, exactly. But now you can play a better card like speed loading. All right. But the what thing is, no, if I... incendiary rounds. No, but I already have a plus one. Oh, okay. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you don't want that plus one. Yeah. So I can. I'll just play this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But wait, we're not gonna have everyone at. Uh, no, Night Mist will hit everyone. herself. Oh, yeah, you have a card to hit yourself. Base power. Base power. Oh, okay. Okay. Right. You don't have the variant anymore. Right. All right, sorry, Ra. It's all good. It hurts good. Sorry, Legacy. Meh. <laughs> sorry, me. Legacy's like, <laughs> try it's harder like next time. <laughs> Expatriate's like, trust me, team. trust me, and then shoots her teammates. <laughs> trust me, it's fine. Shoots the hostage. Fine. Um, hmm. I'm gonna draw a bunch of cards anyway. So yeah. we're we're not worried. About, we want to stop Wager Master from doing something, right? He could play yeah. a card that causes trouble, right? So he can always play a card that causes trouble, even when he can't. 
What if representative of the Earth comes out? It should be fine because yeah, it should be it's ten. It will still count as a hero target with even HP. Yeah. Speaking of which, representative of the Earth. Guys. So what is this one? Each hero target with an even amount of HP. This is fine. Yeah, it's this still gonna hit itself, right? It will. It's still. It's a still a hero target. It will be at ten HP. It will hit itself, go down to six, and then it will have less than max HP and even. So yep. who do we want to... Completionist guys. Yep, definitely completionist Sounds guys. Sounds perfect. <laughs> <laughs> and that is uh, interesting graphic there. Yeah, Whoa. that's a bug. It's just on top. It is on it only top. Guys is like, I gotta be on top. <laughs> <laughs> that's just how guys be. Oh no! Everyone's like hitting that. themselves! Oh no! Yay! We did it! Whew, that was a long game. <laughs> Yay. Yay! We did it, team! We lost to the odds! Wait. Now, I believe if uh, Agents of Stream tradition is, is to be upheld, we need to do horrible, horrible things to Grand Warlord Voss in Game 3. Oh my mm. god, I was just thinking I have not played against Grand Warlord Boss in forever. So thank you. I am in complete support of that. Are we building a team that's designed to ruin Boss? I, I think so. All right, we got to give him a fighting chance, though. Oh, Even are we actually Grand. not? Okay. No, no, <laughs> we're still building our team. Oh, okay. But it's in Morningrad, and that's actually really hard against Boss. True. <laughs> that is that is accurate. Um, so, hmm. But Luminary is coming. There, there you go. That that makes. Oh, oh, nice. we are actually building. A okay, never mind. I am misinterpreting everything. Okay, so <laughs> back to uh, Ground Zero. Um, this card. Oh, there you go. Uh, which variant do I want though? I mean, Dark Visionary is cheating. Hmm. There are so I'll many heroes in this game. What is, what is her in caps? Are you planning to get in capped already? <laughs> yes, well, I, I think am. it might be just this game plan. <laughs> yeah, there are so many heroes, environments. Like, it must have taken some company like six years to put this much stuff into this game. I know, right? I know. At least, you know. Power before the might of the Therathian conquering fleet. A quandary. Time for some scientific action. Nice. That's a really hard quote to say fast. Hmm. So somebody posted a video of all of John Oliver's This Country Is This from uh, last week tonight. And my favorite one was, he's like, so tonight we're going to talk about Scotland. Also known as that accent you think you can do, but you can't. <laughs> and I was like, oh my god. <laughs> Every time I try to do an accent on this show, I screw it up. Although I have to say, I feel like my John Oliver wasn't the worst it could have been. That, that was wasn't pretty good, man. My favorite is Adam's English person accent. Yes. Oh my god, it's hysterical. <laughs> Cold blimey. <laughs> <laughs> It's it's just the worst jo uh, Rob Beckett impression ever. Yeah. We must win by three uh, goats. Oh we, yes. What's happening? Are we going to choose for me here, or is there oh, a reason shoot. not to hit choose for me? Oh oh, that's John's vote and my vote. There isn't, as far as I'm aware. Or wait, no. Who's voting? Well, now it's too late. I voted. We've already chosen for us. At least I thought I voted. We're both going to get hit here, so. Yeah. The reason why I'm so excited about Scottish accents is because there's a, there's a reality show on now called Lego Masters. I don't know if anybody's been watching this, but I'm watching it with my kids, and it's amazing. And one of the two Lego Masters, there's Jamie and Amy. And Amy is so like basically she's Scottish Katy Perry and if you think that I'm being overly whatever about that 
Look it up. Watch like an episode of that. She is Scottish Katy Perry, and it is amazing. And my daughter, every time she says anything, my daughter tries to like repeat it, and it is glorious. All right, we're gonna get to the next. There's a TV show on. For some reason, my mind expected you to say either Strictly Come Dancing or uh, Love Island. I don't know why. <laughs> Hypersonic is pretty right. good. I like that. Yeah. The order doesn't matter. Not. Yeah, I don't think order is going to matter. Especially, we're lucky there's, there's no Gene Bound Guard for this. Yeah. And then we'll accelerate it assault. I don't think I can hit the ship, but I can hit everything else, right? Well, not boss because of the minus, but. Right. Ooh, and I draw a fleet of foot. Fleet's a good I draw. the right hero. Yeah, we could even think about uh, not hitting the minions here because they can't do damage and the stalwart will just bring them back. First go. Uh, Scottish Tempest must be a huge fan of hers. Yeah, I think that's probably right. <laughs> Are we okay with not killing the minions or what do you think? No, that makes sense because... Yeah, I'm okay with whatever anybody else thinks. Okay. Because I could. I'm okay with victory, what Jeremy but thinks. I will not. Then we can focus <laughs> damage on the stalwart and try to kill it. So, okay. Sorry, my computer is going pretty slow with having Discord and everything. Nothing. Nothing. You should experiment on Luminary, Tachyon. Oh, yeah. Maybe I'll do that next turn. That's a good call. The device is going. Mm. So I shouldn't psychic maelstrom then. <laughs> I mean, if you really want to. Should I brain burn? Hmm. <laughs> Do you all hear yourself out there? If you were one of the people who submitted. Some humming for oh, the we have some. selfish. <laughs> yeah, Tachyon and Luminary doing collaborative experiments. Nothing good to come on that. You don't know. Only we'll saving see. the world from oblivion. Oh boy. Each minion deals here. Okay, well, most of these aren't dealing damage. That's good news. Yeah. I'm kind of amazed that I have yet to play Voss and Mordengrad because. That's really? kind of who you should be playing against. Man, I've, I've done something on my show that you haven't done? Dang, son. Yeah, I mm. don't know how. Excuse me. I'm awake. I'm awake. Oh, no, a Gene Band soldier. I mean, I did do the thing where... Um, I don't remember if you were there for that, but... Uh, putting everything into Omni Cannon. <laughs> we did yeah, that you together. Did that? <laughs> I was being sarcastic. I know. <laughs> we still. I mean, I, have we? We've, we've announced that. Have we announced what we're doing this year? What? I know we talked about it, but. Oh, for our thingamabob or doohickey? For Cautionary Tales of the Ill-Advised. Um, okay. Have we told the public what we're doing? I don't, I don't even know. know what our next told plan me. is. <laughs> uh, Pants. We tried the 10,000 damage thing again, but on a PC that won't crash. Ah. <laughs> Stop blaming my computer! My computer's fine! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, was it was it a game yeah. issue or was it? it? It was. I believe we determined it was a game issue. Okay, so My replicating it would, have, would not work. So, damn it, John! Why didn't you code this game better? <laughs> I'll try harder. He <laughs> was busy coding the AI to always play the worst villain card. That it was a choice. We could either make it <laughs> the way you wanted, or we could code the AI that was going to cause the worst villain card to come out every single time. Womp womp. No devices. Hey, they're good. 
<laughs> Brian the Wolf Hunt. So, John and Jeremy, how is the Aeon's End expansion coming along? You mean since we announced that we we're going to start working on it three days ago? <laughs> it's definitely <laughs> coming along. <laughs> yeah, we, we announced it basically the day after it became official that we were going to make it. So it is not really coming along yet. Uh, we will really break ground on it once uh, Spirit Island enters early access. When is that going to be? Um, sometime of that much we can Question be sure. Mark? <laughs> Why are you questioning Yeah, me? we've been trying to find the time to do the Aeon's End expansions. Because obviously, just like Sentinels, Aeon's End is a game that the more expansions you get, like, the game becomes exponentially better in terms of all the combinations that you can put together. And we've been wanting to do them for a while. But Spirit Island is obviously a really big project. And that's been taking literally, like, 95 to 98% of our time. Um, but it's, it's, it's approaching early access very soon. Um, we did say... We sort of implied that. We haven't picked a day yet, uh, but... Definitely stay tuned to like our Twitter and our all the places. We'll we'll talk about when it's going to be coming um, as soon as we know. Um, and once that comes into early access, uh, we're going to start sort of splitting time between that and maybe some and then expansions and maybe some other stuff that we've been meaning to get to. So um, we're very lucky in that in this uncertain time, uh, the work that we do can continue apace without having to worry about things because you know eighty seven percent of the company was working from home before this happened. <laughs> and if you're if you're okay at math, that means that I was the only one who was still going to the office. <laughs> Everybody else already works from wherever they are. So there's no real adjustment for them there. I'm the only one who had to figure out, oh, I should bring my iMac home and then it should die so that I have to spend a week trying to put it back together again. Fun Jeremy's things. not bitter at all. Oh, I'm so bitter. Like, really, I'm so upset about this. Like, uh, I did have to come home to Canada. That was that's right. different. That was different. Yeah. Should I take out the minions or suggest? Uh, suggesting is nice. Yeah, that's true. What's in the bin right now, though? He there's wouldn't flip anyways, right? Because there's still a minion the, yeah. in the environment. Yeah, the true. Uh, I'm I'll just do the damage. I'm going to subscribe yeah. to the I mean, Jeremy Maelstrom's school. going to hit the ship too, which is important. So, Yep. And don't choose for me. Choose like those, for me is wrong. Choose, those voters, <laughs> yep. those, yep. those voters are wrong. <laughs> I, I mean, it doesn't, that's right, it doesn't make a difference, <laughs> but it's wrong. Oh, that's true. It's still, he's, they still got a minion, so it didn't do anything. <laughs> ah, see? We weren't wrong this time. <laughs> All right. Yeah, see? Yeah, she. Yeah, Brian the Wolf Hunt, we are also obviously very much looking forward to more Anzen content. And we actually chose, like, the Nameless was probably going to be the first one either way, but we specifically, between that and the Depths, we chose the Nameless because it actually brings two new nemeses. Um, and, you know, as the game stands right now, it actually has, I would say, a comparable amount of content to the base game of Sentinels, which at the time was uh, 10 heroes, 4 environments, 4 villains. And then Aeon's End is 4 nemeses, 8 heroes, plus uh, Jay. Um, so nine heroes, or excuse me, nine breach mages, um, and then obviously the market. Um, so it's going to bring two new nemeses, a new um, a new mage, and a bunch of new stuff for the market. So it should be a, it should be a really fun update. And assuming it sells well, we'll dive right back in and we'll do the depths. And then you know there's other big expansions coming you know down the pike. You know they just finished kickstarting, um, not the new age. What was the what was the latest one called? I, can't remember uh, what called. I don't remember. The new age was last year's. Yeah. But yeah, there's always more hands in. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> Dive right back into the depths. Exactly right, Larry. Thanks, Disposable Defendi. Thanks, Disposable Defendi. Outcasts. Outcast, yes, thank you, Andromeda. There's the button. Dun, 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 dun. Ouch. Oh man, if only I had suggested, then we wouldn't have gotten that gene-bound shock infantry. You probably would have gotten a gene-bound shock infantry.
All right. But the side um, weaver didn't come in from the ship. Do we want me to get rid of one of those environments or? Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to fleet a foot, but then the question is what is. Oh, I guess we can see what I draw. Oh, I guess, yeah, I can do this. Yeah, one. I was going to say, you got to wait for options. Why not both? That's both true. Is good. So, which of the environment cards do we want to get rid of? The tank, probably. Tank? When is yeah, the strike? Play the top card of the villain deck. At this point, it's the safest time to play the top card of the villain deck. Or so. Yeah. Okay. And we. Yep, there it is. That said, this sounds like a brain burn turn. Yeah. Yeah. It's not a bad All idea. Right, luminary. Nope. Womp womp. You want me to destroy the, to destroy these minions before you brain burn? Well, that um, would make the brain burn more potent. The other thing. Do you have the ability to do that damage? I can triple cross. There it is. <laughs> I love that card. <laughs> so good. That card had redacted art in playtesting because the playtesters didn't know about Voss until That's close right. to the end. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, if you want to brain burn and we can do that, that's probably a good idea. So I'll do it. I'll take out the other minion, too. Uh, Ooh, I can Sparky Wolf has a good point. What? Doing Spite next, if we're going to play another one after this. <laughs> a good theme. You can quarantine civilians, prevent his outbreak or mutation. It's a lot of drugs. Might be fun. Sure. We can play Spite. Maybe. Oh, except that <laughs> Zach is doing that on Sunday. So maybe not. <laughs> that is literally exactly oh, what I've got planned. On well, Sunday. we can preempt Zach with that because we're, uh, that's just the way we roll. We're I mean, it depends on how much time's left, right? Because I, I have to be done at nine. But Speed run Spite, did someone say? <laughs> spite speed run. You got a hard out. I, uh, I'm supposed to be playing D and D with some greater than games folks, actually. Cool. Yeah. Oh, so nothing important. <laughs> no, nothing important. Not at all. <laughs> we have damage, Grand Warlord. But, Grand Warlord. but, there it is. <laughs> Woo! but Zach, you all have right. to understand that this thing we're doing here is greater than games. Do I need to get the stalwart down to? I'm not even going to acknowledge that dolphin. To one? Yeah. If I do this, then you can kill it. So. Um, what am I doing? Yep. I'm doing two damage. And Zach may or may not be doing damage. So I will uh, hit the stalwart. This turn, it's a big question mark. Yeah, so I'll hit the stalwart, <laughs> and then we'll kill it for sure. Yep, seems good. That hurts so good. I would say that us getting together to play games online is lesser than work. <laughs> Sorry, it took me too long to come up with that. Yeah, that was, that was, that was lengthy. <laughs> I was thinking, I'm like, wait, lesser than, what's the opposite of games? Oh, there it is. There it is. Womp womp. I like to be a little more inclusive. I'm greater than or equal to games. You're greater than or equal to, there you go. And streaming on on Tuesday nights is lesser than or equal to work. No, don't play there two reset. <laughs> when I'm not drawing cards that are useful, Dolphin. Yeah, yeah. Brian, that's like that's I like my golden rule of reset is don't ever chain resets because you'll never get them back. I mean, you will on a future reset. Just don't chain yeah, exactly. all the resets. Oh. Speaking of which, <laughs> there you go. Yeah, there that is. I mean, oh, now you get your resets back. <laughs> yep, sure do. And I get an extra card play. Uh, all right. I mean, I can just blow up force deployment ahead of time and get in for a couple of points of damage. 
But that seems like a waste of disruptive. Yeah, it seems like a waste. I would well, use it like when we actually need it to kill the things from first deployment. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Does it destroy the ongoings first? It does. Okay, yeah. yeah so you could destroy the force deployment and then ping the yeah. minions. And yeah. you could get more components Ch going. Chaining resets has basically been how I've been trying to fix my iMac for the last three days. <laughs> reset, 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 reset. <laughs> I think I force restarted this computer like at least 20 times in the last three days. But it does like install a fresh OS and that works okay. It's just the backup that you have problems with, right? Yeah, so like I've got, it's it's running. I have a fresh OS on it. I have actually both of my Drobos, my home Drobo and my work Drobo plugged in because I'm, what I'm trying to do now is piecemeal move all of the stuff from the Drobo from work, which is the one that's the problem, over to the other one and then try to do a restore of my user from that one so that everything's back in place the way that it needs to be. Although there's a part of me, like I've been, I've been kind of going through the five stages of grief about my iMac and I'm getting really close to acceptance on, you know what, it's just time. And if there was ever a good time to start fresh on a new computer and just install the things I only the things I need and not my 25 years of like nonsense cruft that's been building up, now is probably the time to do it. So I think I might just do that. And speaking of that, here comes the TCF crufterer. I am getting too old for this ship. Bird is, bird is, bird is, bird is. Uh, yeah, the Conqueror is probably the right So one. many Bertes. Conqueror? Well, so I hardly Bertes know her. Is, is. <sighs> so that black hole generator is spicy. Yeah, right? And this card deals each target other than itself X energy damage. Very exciting when uh, Luminary is in the game. X is the yeah. number of devices in all trash piles <laughs> plus one. This sounds this sounds splendid. Do we have a way to destroy it? Oh, we do. Omnitron has a destroyed yeah, yeah. environment. Card. I, got, I got it. I got yeah. it covered. Omnitron is in the... control of the environment right now. Yep. BioNG beam ready to go. As soon as you put Mordengrad right. in, I'm like, I'm putting Omnitron into the game. <laughs> <laughs> now, what we really needed was uh, naturalists so we could be immune to environment damage. <laughs> I mean, there's also that. How close were you blowing up this spaceship? About a million miles. Spaceship! I mean, here's us on the planet's surface. There's a ship, like, way out there. We're not very close at all. If you do regression turret, I can also twist its ether, and then its damage is less. That's true. Less is good. We like less. I can also do six damage to it. That's half. Eight damage to it. That's eight? Half. Okay, that's I can good. do eight. Can the two of you do four between you? I have two or three. I have, I mean, yes. Yes. And then you have your bioengineering beam. So. I can bioengineer yeah. too. Okay, right, so, so let's we can just, just kill get rid it of it. Yeah. And then I and can I will do that twist with my devious plan. Ha 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 ha! That's so devious. You might call it a devious disruption. <laughs> we can keep social distance from the ship, or we could incinerate it. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Those are the options. <laughs> Social distancing, purge it with fire. I I think fire's going out there. You're fired. Punch Voss. Throw throw device into the ship. Those <laughs> are the that's the sequence of operations here. Yeet. Yeah, yeet into the ship. Oh man, that is a word that I like. Here's how you know that I'm an old person. I learned what that word meant from my 11-year-old. That's I had, basically I had my story. No idea <laughs> Those are the people who know the word. <laughs> I know, but like, I had not ever really heard it or understood it. And then he was running around being like, you, you, you. And I was like, what is that? And he's like, oh, you know, it just sort of means 
you know, just throw it away or, you know, throw it or move it or whatever, you know, like in that 11-year-old way. That's what your parents it. thought about Yoink, so there you go. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> counter, so counter argument to that, though. <laughs> Jeremy, have you played A Link to the Past? Uh, actually, no. Okay. Because I was going to say, if you've played A Link to the Past, you know Yeet, but you don't necessarily know that you know Yeet. Because that's the sound that Link makes when he throws something. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. I was trying that's to figure great. out where you're going with that. <laughs> I played a lot of Link to the Past randomizer back in the day. Well, by, by back in the day, I mean like two years ago. Not like yeah. 20 oh, years crap. ago. Oh crap. This is when I discovered that my my Mac has not been, my laptop has not been plugged in this whole time. And now I'm done. I think I watched you that. play one of those streams, Lou Delphin. Yeah, I was super into it. Then I lost interest. I was like, what the heck is going on? <laughs> He's opening a chest and it has something that it's not supposed to. I mean, it's not like I would remember where things are anyways, so. <laughs> True. It's been many years since I played that. Am I blowing up the ship here or am I doming him out? Kill the ship. ship. So I thought. So okay. a Link to the Past is the one that just recently got re-released for Switch, right? No, that's Link's Awakening. Link's yeah. Awakening. Which yeah, one is Link's Link the Past? Is Super Nintendo. Link's Awakening uh, was what was yeah. on the Game Boy Th Color. This is Link's Awakening, or just Game Boy in general. Mm -hmm. but... I love how I just happened to have all these yeah. cartridges like within how arms you, reach. You just had that. <laughs> Link's Awakening is this wait? one. See, is I have like Legend all this Zelda stuff by me, but I don't even have Link's the Past. Okay. Uh, do you have a synaptic? You do not. So let's. Make I only this... have this sweet Pokemon coloring book that we got in Japan, and Brittany's been coloring. Is wait. So is is a link to the past? Is that the second one? No, a link to the past is the first one. Do you have a preference here, John? No, the Legend of Zelda. I'm is just showing this coloring oh. book. It's so well, cool. Okay. It's like, uh, what's the artist for this painting? Uh, Monet. Monet. It's all like classic. Oh, this classic is actually a vote. artwork. The third one, oh God, color, man. like art school background is going into play. Yogurt. Oh, it's the wave. Yeah. In the wave. <laughs> Lots of cool stuff. That's neat. Whoop. I have a bag of holding off stream. No, it's just a desk of holding. I've also got my disaster box for Sentinels within arm's reach, but I can't move it. I did that once on stream. Yeah, our policy while traveling has been to never get souvenirs because they take up too much space, but we broke our rule real hard in Japan. <laughs> we sent yeah. uh, like a 10 okay, kilogram no. box home from Korea. <laughs> a full of Pikachus. Okay, Should... yeah, so I have not played A Link to the Past or Link's Awakening. I have played The Legend of Zelda and Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link. Do I have that one? So that's okay. I now know. I, I do. I do. That was the second NES one. That was like the follow-up. Yes. Yeah. The side scroller. The same. The side scroller one is. The... Right. Uh, yeah. All right, you're up, Jeremy. Yeah, I know. I'm looking. Does um, the super scientific tachyon want to deal the super scientific tachyon to sonic damage? I think she should. Yeah. I think she oh. super scientific should. And then we play the Super Scientific Research Grant, followed oh, by the, Command Center the Super Scientific Accelerator. Really we can't have both of those things happening. The Command Center leading into the Quark Drive. Minions everywhere. <laughs> I, can, I can blow right. up the Command Center. That's fine. That's, this that's is going to yeah. be the last time that I experiment on Luminary. If it doesn't work. We're done. Yeah, it's been a device and a one shot every single time. So we're going. But back because you now. did, because you did that, I was able to play my Doomsday device. Yeah, the Doomsday is potent with yeah with this. Even if the experiments didn't work, they worked. <laughs> ah, okay. Remember, you don't need the experiment to succeed to have a successful experiment. <laughs> That's true. Oh, oh, is it Brilliant Inventor or Dangerous Vision or Hasten Victory? I think Difficult someone had serious? actually PM'd me for some math insight into how to calculate this, but it was like, 
we have the percentage on Super Scientific Tachyon doing an experiment that reveals two keywords with the same or two the same keyword on two cards. But like, what about the situations where discards are actually favorable? And I said, actually, that is going to be really difficult because what constitutes successful in various places is right. contingent on what game you're in. Yeah, I just discarded four cards, which is a success. Yeah, <laughs> fantastic. And two more. I mean, we're already almost into doomsday mode again, which is freaking terrific. All right. Uh, do we have a plan to kill this cork drive? We don't have to, but it would be nice to. I can hit it with disruptive. Uh, actually, you know what? I can hit it with uh, if, if I, well, OK, here's here's the problem. I, I mean, I do... can kill it by destroying all my things. <laughs> well, sure. I can just keep want... playing ongoings and powering up my base power. It's at three right now. I can get up to four. Yeah. I, I don't have a damaging one shot otherwise. Yeah, your disruptive, disruptive flechettes won't hit the other things, I guess, Zach. That's the problem, right? Right, exactly. I guess you you do have access to defensive blast, but we also want to get rid of the uh, command center. Right. That's that was what I was just gonna say. Is like I I want to use bioengineering beam this turn. Yeah. I can, I mean there's I can draw right, out I, of it, but I I don't want to. I can easily just it. kill the cork drive on my own, so I'll just do okay. That. <laughs> or almost. I think I can get it down to. Okay. Uh, so if you get it down to four, oh, but, then I can take it out myself. Okay. Perfect. Then I'll it leave. It is down to four now. Battle drones are alone. Leave the drone alone. Mass Levitation, your favorite visionary card. I like that card. card. It makes the base power stronger. <laughs> there we go. I will eventually get around to playing Suggestion. I swear. I think we have things fairly well in control. We'll see. Yeah. I mean, at this point, it's either force deployment or um, minion or Therathian. The ships are gone, so. Yeah. There's not really any bad he can do. It's just a game of, or a war of attrition at this point. Yeah. Um. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. The best side-scrolling Link game is Super Mario Maker 2. <laughs> I mean... I got Super Mario Maker 2, and then I played it for like five minutes, and I've not gotten back to it. I have no idea why, because I had wanted to play Super Mario Maker for like six years. That's, that's what happened to me, too. I, I played it for a short bit. I started designing a level for my friend Colin, and then I never finished it. Yeah, because like, I feel like I don't have the time to sit down and design a level. Right. So I just don't play it. Well, Adam and I were working on recreating a rather iconic level of Mega Man Zero One uh, uh, for Colin. And then we just had other things we needed to do. If no devices regain HP, discard the top card of each deck. Okay, so order doesn't matter. This is happening. Yep. Well... Luminary likes this. Tachyon likes this. Yeah. Yup. So speaking of Mega Man, I think I know how old Zach is, but I don't know that I know how old Dolphin is. But I will mention that I played the original Mega Man when it came out on nice. my NES. So I just I turned know. 31 on Saturday. Okay, so older than Zach, but still not as anywhere near as old. How do you have and... every Nintendo game? <laughs> Just the ones we happen to have been talking about. Like, All right. Psychic is what I want. Battle to Toads. Yes. I don't have that. Tell me your Battle Toads. <laughs> it's not so much that he has them all. It's that he has them all within arm's reach. Yeah. Just, <laughs> they have to leave his seat to get them. <laughs> you, Billy. I don't have Bayou Billy. Go I'm just going to go alphabetical. <laughs> 
Oh, he, he's left his seat now. Oh no, he is oh, still no. in his seat. Oh. No, it's just they're all right next to me. Like he's just turned to green. So how do you do this in your class where it's like, so the next example we're gonna talk about of a game that's poorly programmed is BAM! Battletoads! <laughs> no. I do have this though. What is that? I can't read it, it's pixelated. Is it Japanese? Oh, it is, it's Pokemon Green version. Oh, oh cool. that makes more sense. Uh, my Switch and its games are the Japanese ones, so it has all the Japanese art on them. Mm -hmm. But they play in English, no problem. So Yeah. Actually, uh, yeah, that's another thing that can tell people how old I am. I was too old to get Pokemon. <laughs> like yeah, Pokemon same. I never played Pokemon when I was young. Oh, that's the one that happens to be out of my reach is my copy of Blue version. It's in the other room. My copy oh, of blue, this my, one. my copy of Pokemon Red is found in my C drive. <laughs> nice. Completely legal. I own it already. <clears throat> Actually, I do own it. Say, Mom, Dad, <laughs> dolphins claiming illegal stuff. Worst hypersonic assault ever. I know, but like I got nothing else to do, so. Yeah. All right. Not everyone needs a second research grant. <laughs> But then you have it. But then, then you have, you have it. it. Ooh. All right. Um, that was waiting there the whole time. Triple cross, cerebral hemorrhage, Ossian blaster, we'll put that in the play. And yeah, I guess we'll kill the conscripted Can we engineer. Leave the conscripted unless anybody... engineer? He's my friend. Yeah, is there something He's else? Like, I'm happy to get... You know what? I'll just get rid of my pushing the limits. No, you know what? I want to use it because I already took the Destroy a research board. grant. There's something else. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> that engineer, like, heals my things and discards cards. Like, he's great. He's your buddy. It's almost as if I conscripted him to work for us. I'll just almost. burn a bunch sure. of money. Because <laughs> that's what a research grant is. Thank you I for giving me this money. Case in victory doesn't damage the environment. I wonder if that's because sometimes you play in, in Mordengrad and he wouldn't hit his own team. Mm, interesting. Uh, wonder... Is it dangerous vision time? How many cards does he have that says... Night take walker. Deal damage. Oh, it does say not hero. I was wondering Kinda whether, wild. like, these cards just swapped out the words heroes and with villain, basically, but. Is the card I want in my deck? Yes. I want my ongoing card. All according to plan. So we're leaving the engineer. Yes. So what's our plan for the Ion Lancer? Oh, well, that? that's our plan for the Ion Lancer. <laughs> Punching him. In the face. Whoa. We're showing him the wall. There we go. That's a good hit. So... Yeah, the, conscript, the conscripted engineer is going to be discarding cards, right? Yeah. So yeah. suggesting is not as potent as it could be. You could bury minions in his deck, but mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, we don't even have the terrible minions, though. So. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Decoy projection. Um... Decoy's not the worst. I mean, you are the lowest on health of all of us. Do I look like I care, though? <laughs> no. <laughs> I, mean, well, I don't I have another ongoing to play. I'm mad. Then hit him with cerebral hemorrhage. Yep, seems fine. You put a projection. Do we have That's ongoings good. we want back? Do you want your research grant back? Oh my god. <laughs> uh, you won't probably want to leave. Do you have. You don't have the things. You don't have the things. Hit him for four damage. That's up to. That's a shotgun. 
Yeah. I just want to make sure there wasn't a better option, John. <laughs> Uh, oh yeah. Blue Dolphin desperately trying to do a cool thing. Hey, that's my life you're talking <laughs> <Okay>. about. <laughs> Everybody heal a bunch. Um. Oh boy. I'm going to try and go in wide here. I like it when Omnitron's fully set up because it's like, all right, I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do this. All right, now for my play phase. Right. <laughs> nice. And now at the end of my turn for my second play in power phase. <laughs> for my next magical trick. Oh my God. Everybody's here. So we're keeping that guy, right? So. And now I destroy everything and do four times 20 damage to everything. He's, you're gonna <laughs> destroy that guy. Wait, uh, it's okay. We tried. He'll die. Each non-hero target. Oh, that's right. Someone's gonna say, "Why didn't I just twist on the Tron's ether?" Why didn't you? I Jerk. kind of like to put a minus one on the villain whenever I can. That's right. I'm there with you, honestly. That's generally my use for that. X equals this car's current HP. So the nine hero targets with the highest HP. Hmm. Well, mine is doesn't matter. Yeah, it no matter. There could easily be nine hero targets, but I don't have a lot of devices in play right now. Yeah. Oh, good. There goes my decoy projection. <laughs> All right, so Omnitron, because we can negate that. That's the other reason I did Twist Ether, it was because Omnitron's on the team. I yep. don't like this. I disagree with this. Can we can we uh, hit the cheat button to make this not happen? <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> it's fine. The platoon has 9 HP to account for the Sentinels. Well, <laughs> 5 hero game with the Sentinels would still only have 8 hero targets. And decoy projection. That's a good question for the letters page. Why does it have nine hit points? Is it are there nine? There's nine in the picture, so <laughs> that's probably the, what they would say. Tachyon. Tachyon is away. What do we choose for Tachyon? Nope, I'm back. Hi, back. <clears throat> uh, yes. Hi, back. I'm dad. <laughs> All right, boom. I do that joke all the time. Blade oh Battalion, God. Brian Lofant for Baron Blade has five in the picture, and it has five hit points. But this is a full platoon. Why didn't Even you play battalion high is, A battalion is made up of platoons, so don't ask too many questions about military structure. Who are you going to sucker punch? I'm gonna sucker punch that Gene Bound whatever. <laughs> that Gene Bound ice thingy. Ice thingy. Yeah. Skinny That's ice. The boy. technical term. Uh, what do I have in there? Yeah, I'm definitely gonna keep that so we can discard this one. I don't know enough cards. We discard that one. Gene Bound ice puppy. That's what I'm gonna call it from now on. Frost Town is too pretentious. For some reason, when my Bluetooth disconnected, I lost. I still have. I can still hear you all, but I can't hear the music from the game or any of the sound effects. So I don't know what's going on. Okay, That's I'll bizarre. sing it for you. Beautiful. 
robot. What do I got in my trash? All sorts of lovely things. There's, yeah, as I said, there's a lot of gas in your trash. Let's become technologically stable. Ooh, a death laser. Yep, sure is. I prefer the reconstructor generally as my doomsday device more than the death laser. Mm hmm. And that is what is going to happen. Seems good to me. Oh, there it is. <laughs> All of the things. Just noticing the aquarium in the background. That's an Apple TV. Yeah. No, they're talking about my aquarium that's back Do you there. have an aquarium? I do not. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> see, what the chat doesn't know is that they can't actually see me. Yeah, I'm you're not I'm broadcasting to us. you guys, but not to these guys. Dolphin has to keep his... Uh, per, per stream regulations, Dolphin is required to keep his... Uh, identity his his visual appearance secret from the rest of us <laughs> yeah it seems like my video now that i'm looking at closely my video that's being sent to you is a little twitchy Oops. oh it's really clippy it's been i know twitchy. and i don't know why i literally have nothing running except for steam discord sorry yeah, blade no. time but Tune, you are protecting Weird. the wrong person so i must destroy you you are failing to do your job. And it's it, it's only every once in a while, Jeremy. Like, right now it's bad, but it'll be fine in a couple minutes. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, if and when I get my iMac back to not being a brick, uh, it'll be better. But right now. Yeah. That's why when it was like, oh, is Jeremy going to be able to join us for the Agents of Stream? It's like, as long as I don't have to host, because my entire mm -hmm. computer situation is a dumpster fire right now. Mm -hmm. That's why Lude is streaming. Oh, I can suggest now. So what you're saying is forced deployment should be played. <laughs> if you can suggest everything else back into his deck. <laughs> All right, what do we got here? Oh, good. Another ongoing card to make my base power stronger. Oh, all I've got is these. All right, well, fine. Well, it's fine because you get it in your inventory and then you could unleash. Bin it, yeah. Has anyone gone and maximized the, amount of, the damage? amount of damage? Whoa, Echo. Whoa, Echo. From someone. Now it's gone. Uh, in Oblivion mode, she can get a lot more ongoing cards. That's true. That and seems like it, a huge commitment, though. Is, is it her own ongoing cards or is ongoing cards... Yeah, it's her own, right? Aww. So you can't like put bounties on her and stuff. Wah, right. Wah. So I suppose actually with, with guys, guys can have fun with that. That's true. By it counting all of his ongoing cards instead. We'll and to, copy, uh... He can copy someone who can play a lot more ongoing cards than Visionary can and then use the power. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that works. <laughs> Sounds good. So. <laughs> um, the question is, is it just time for... It's not quite time for... I got like one more card to put in before I can unleash for maximum self-sabotage. Hmm. Do I hold out for it or do I just do it? Hold out. I'm All right. Up to you. I will hold out. Lou just wants to wants to kill him before you get the chance. <laughs> I'm waiting for my super turn over here. You just have to wait for Visionary's Holy Nova, which is uh Jeremy, I'm Alright, no, never mind. Brainburn! Right, that okay. card. <laughs> <clears throat> There's the rocket punch. That's one of the things I was looking for. 
commander's back. Pick a shield, any shield. I was trying to vote for the middle one, so I hope you pick the middle one. I, I, I clicked on it as soon as it appeared on my screen. Sorry, I'm slow. Oh, by the way, this is me. Hello. Um, Whatever, just reduce it. Yeah. Guys can have fun with everything. Sounds like homework for someone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's any anytime guys shenanigans is suggested. It means John and Mark and I do theoretical math, and then Mark and I try to make it work, <laughs> and then we fail or succeed after inordinate amounts of time, because that's always the factor we never consider. <laughs> um. Sure. Light speed barrage, hello. Yeah, you yep, have a I lot of bursts in your going. crash. Yeah. You go light speed, I'll go with the uh, self sabotage. I think we got this. At least very close, anyway. Am I going to be able? I don't think I can actually get him gone before I do this, but that's fine. I've only been dealt damage by myself since the last turn, so should I hit myself and deal more damage? Hmm. <laughs> you can only play one more card, though. Oh, I can only play one more? Oh, yeah. Okay. There you go. We have damaged Grand Warlord boss. My favorite part of that this time. Uh, of that game from forever ago where the, the, the voice clip is from is that at one point, some user recognized that Voss had been dealt 51 damage, 45 of which came from Tachyon, and 6 came from Voss. Yep. <laughs> because you had Night Mist redirect it, and the other damages were from Lightspeed Barrages. Aha. That was like Sentinels Live number 10 or something. It was very it was early. Yeah. so long ago. Yeah. All right. The realization that we've been doing this for four years is pretty yeah. staggering. It's crazy. Probably triple cross. Looks so. like you won't need this anymore. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yes, I got my music got my back, music if anyone's back. curious. Yay! Woo! And roughly 34 months ago, you got partnered. Hey, do you want it? <laughs> yeah, change because we... Boss's damage type? <laughs> but I thought you only ever wanted to make it minus one. You always want to reduce the damage from <laughs> Just play your best card, man. Just play your best card. All right. Can Visionary deal 19 damage? 17 damage? First take damage. Battle don't, take, don't take this from me, man. Let me kill Visionary first. <laughs> Do it! <laughs> Can oh, Visionary crap, do it? Zach, 12 you, damage? You gotta go? no, you're, you're fine. I haven't gotten my text yet. Okay. We're, we're there good. isn't some redirect thing think... we can do, right? So You don't have a magic damage ability. Ooh, but if I do enough damage to Omnitron, then he loses all of his stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you could. You could. 
I don't uh, think, I think you he's, have is he still though, right? reducing he, it? He's still reducing it. Psychic. No. Oh. Oh. Ooh. But he's reducing it, right? No. He's he got, switched. Uh, he switched his plating. Switched it. Switched to a blade of coating. <laughs> Oops, come on. Blow up his components out of spite. I like that you're doing this at the start of your turn before your components go off. Yep. <laughs> I don't want to run the risk of Dolphin doing something crazy. On your own turn. <laughs> right. All right, we did it. Now for the spike game. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm good. <laughs> My iPad uh, light source is at 1% as well. So, good timing. <laughs> nice. Yeah. So three games is probably solid. <laughs> we went all three of them? We went all three of them. We did. Three for three. We have saved the world once again from apparently COVID-19. Who knows? <laughs> We're exactly. doing that part. And everybody, I just want to remind everybody, uh, coronavirus is basically Thanos. Uh, he's trying to make us compete in a giant Hunger Games, but we can't. We need to stay strong like the Hobbits in Dumbledore's army. And like, you know, when they use the Force to guard Narnia from the minions beyond the... This could be our final frontier. So people, social distance, stay home, do what you can to flatten the curve, and everything will be good. That's what the agents of Queen have to say to you. I am okay. He never Brian. was, Brian. He never was. No, I am fine. <laughs> I am totally fine. No, he is Jeremy. Hi, Jeremy. I'm <laughs> Dad. <laughs> <laughs> now that is a rally speech. Amen to that. All right. Uh, I'm not hosting, so I guess I don't have to do the wrap up. Oh, yeah. so I have. Okay. <laughs> Get the games. All right, done. <laughs> Go play Bottom of the Ninth for free, everybody. Bottom of the Ninth's so good. Ninth. Do it. Challenge me. Find me on Discord. Challenge me. I will play. Should I do? Nice. Should I play the uh, Agents of Clean intro as the outro because we didn't yeah, hear it right probably. in the opening? Might as well. All right. Good night, everyone. Good night. I'll good night, everybody. Stay safe. Up. Stay healthy. Flat stay home. Stay inside. Stay home. Stay All right. Home. So I'm going to deafen myself there. I'm going to transition to here. And I will... Sorry, it's not as clean as when Jeremy does it. I don't know how he gets it. but And I will also up the volume here. So hopefully you can hear it. If this blasts your ears, I do apologize. But hopefully this will be good enough for you to actually hear Krista now. All right, so possible headphone warning. <laughs> It's Trista, aka Ketchup Rocket. Uh, normally the Agents of String intro would play here, but uh, I think we could use a bit of a happier intro tonight, um, especially since tonight is Agents of Clean. But um, I'm not gonna lie, I uh, don't know what the acronym for Clean would be, so I'm going to employ a little bit of help in figuring that out. Hey Tyler. Yeah? I need help coming up with an acronym for Clean. Okay, uh, let's see, C, clean. Clean? No. All right, let's just go to L. L, L lean, lean. Uh, we'll, okay, we'll just circle back to that. Uh, how about E? Uh, you know what, I'll, 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 just, I'll just ask you at another time, okay? It's fine. A is for Animal Crossing. Well, I guess we don't know what clean stands for. But if you, the viewers at home, know what clean should stand for, make sure to drop it into that chat, put it into that comment section, smash that subscribe button, hit that bell, hit that like button!